What I've found as I've gone through working with the, these different platforms and making the transition from different platforms and specifically the transition from .NET to Android development is that I find to work effectively, there's kind of a four phase approach to really moving from your current set of skills to the skills required to develop effectively in a new platform. So this series is based on these four phases that I, that I followed and worked out and think work well. Uh, just to note, four phases does not mean the series has just four courses in it. Uh, at the time of recording this, the plan is for there to be five courses in this series. Uh, we may find that we may add even one more after that, but for right now we're looking at five courses in the series. But it follows this concept of four phases to the learning process as we make the transition. Now the first phase in the learning process is the tools. You've got to get familiarity in the tools of your environment, in this case the Android environment. And you need to understand the natural workflow of those tools. And one of the things you'll find as you move to any mobile platform, but in this case Android, is tools are even more important when working with mobile platforms than they are when working with you know, desktop or web oriented platforms. The tools are really key because you're, you're building your software on one machine, you're deploying it to a very different machine, or in case a smartphone. And so there are tools that help you kind of make that transition, test more effectively, deploy more effectively. Getting a handle on those tools is just critically, critically important. Now, as you move into the development phase, where you're actually developing things, it's very hard to jump into a brand new platform and just, just wrap your arms around the platform and work that way. What I find works well for me and works well for most people I've uh, worked with is you follow a translation process at first, is that you're looking to take your existing skills, in this case .NET skills, and you want to translate those skills and apply them to the other platform, Android. And so very often your thinking is, hey, I know how to do this stuff over here. Well, how do I do that same stuff over on Android? Right? So how do I do the stuff I do in .NET over on Android? And so and that allows you to get familiar with the platform. It allows you to start becoming uh, effective, getting some things done. And that's kind of our first phase. But then we don't want to just live in that translate world. Right? You know, just like when someone's learning a foreign language, initially you may translate from your native language to the other language, you want to get past that and you want to start thinking in that other language. And that's what we think about too when we're moving to a new platform. So you want to move from that translation phase to the understanding phase. So you want to really start you know, understanding the functional behavior of things as they work in Android. Now you still may be using very similar skill sets to what you know already in .NET, but as you're doing those things on Android, you're going to think less about the .NET way of doing them and start thinking much more about the Android way of doing those things. And that'll kind of start to open up your mind and you'll start to grasp the platform more effectively. And ultimately what we want to do is get to that point where you actually embrace the new platform. That you, you just think like an Android developer, you work like an Android developer, you fully embrace the features, capabilities, style of Android. And that's the goal of this series is to take you to that point. And it doesn't guarantee that you're going to be an expert Android developer by the end of this series, because obviously that takes time. But what I am confident about is that you'll be able to embrace the platform, think that way, and then through the use of uh, some of the other intermediate and advanced courses Pluralsight has, move on to that next level and really start applying your skills in a very Android and effective way of working.